Hey everyone and welcome to the first video for step number one on your Young Engineers Award journey. This video will hopefully guide you along the process, provide some ideas, inspiration and some tips to help you in your project. And remember to download the steps project book, that'll help you too. And make sure to use the whole digital resource pack that the steps team have prepared because there's lesson plans, instructions and loads of resources to help support you on your engineering journey. And now is a good time to remind you about requesting a steps engineer class visit too. All the details are in your steps account just log on and fill out the form and then I guess we're ready to begin step one the brainstorm. Whatever you did that in the first video we did that already. You can't it's not funny if you do it twice. Oh, that's it. Okay Step one is to get rid of any annoying sound effect, people. Good, we're clear. We can begin and begin we will one of the most fun steps of all and personally one of my favourite steps in any project, the ideas phase. Okay, that's okay. First, let's set our goal so we have an idea of what we want our ideas to be about. So we want to create an engineering project to help our local community or someone in our local community. And we're going to design a solution, build a prototype using simple materials. And to do this, you'll become young engineers. Right. An engineer is a person who wants to understand how and why things work, like you do. They come up with ideas to design and build machines, systems, products and structures to try solve problems, like you do. They can design new things or they can improve on things that already exist and just make them better, like you'll do. <laughs> Engineers take ideas and turn them into reality using maths, science, creativity and lots of teamwork, like you'll do. <laughs> okay, now you can let your imaginations run wild. Take a look around your local community and ask what would you like to improve? What problems have you ever discovered in your own lives as you're maybe going to school or the park or playing sport or whatever things you've heard other people talking about that they'd like to improve upon? Or things that would just make people's lives easier or safer or help the environment and locality? See, when I'm coming up with ideas in the early phases, I don't put any limits on my imagination. Just think of all sorts of ideas with no boundaries. Big ideas, small ideas, wacky ideas, and then I share and discuss them together with my team. And discussing things with your team and asking what they think and what their ideas and opinions are always helps. Because together as a team, you can discuss the advantages and disadvantages of your ideas, what works, what doesn't, and maybe your team will be able to help improve upon the ideas. So have fun throwing out lots of ideas and discussing them as a team, and remember to respect and listen to other people's ideas, because at this phase, ideas won't be all thought out and complete, and may sound crazy and wacky at first. Do you know how many times I have an idea, I tell my team and they look at me as if I'm crazy all day? the time. New ideas always sound crazy at first, especially the best ones. So make sure to respect each other and to give everyone a chance to suggest some ideas. So make sure listen to each other and listen to the people on your team and enjoy sharing the ideas and talking about them more together. So maybe let me tell you about some of my creations and inventions and you can see how important ideas and teamwork are and how much fun it'll be turning those ideas into reality. And while I'm showing you some of the ideas and creations, think about what goal I was trying to achieve, what problems I was trying to solve, what could I have done, what did I do, what could I have used, and how important it was to listen and discuss and work as a team, especially on your plans and prototypes. Because you guys know I get to create a lot of fun STEM projects with my team using science, tech, engineering and maths to create new inventions or exhibits, experiments, shows, TV episodes, adventures or videos like these. This is the G-Force Roller Coaster Loop Bike at Explorium. Sounds crazy already, but we wanted to do this on a crazy scale to see if we could attach someone to a bicycle, strap them in, hands, wrists, heads, whatever, and get them to cycle in a 20 foot loop upside down, feeling all the different types of forces that a body would experience going in a big loop like you would on a roller coaster. So it involved a lot of testing, a lot of engineering to make sure what size we would use, what 
what type of materials we would use, what shapes we would use, lots of mathematics, working all of these things out before you test it because that's important. You don't want to stick a person on this if it's not tested yet. This is one of my favorite creations of all time. It is a Tesla coil, a machine that shoots out bolts of lightning and the thunder from that lightning is turned into rock and roll music. <laughs> you said it. This is an extremely powerful high voltage device, an invention by electrical engineer Nikola Tesla, who invented this machine as well as lots of other things that we still use today, like radio, remote control, and lots of different types of electric motors and the systems that we use to send electricity all across the world. But now we use it to rock out to rock and roll music with thunder and lightning. I also get to create lots of stage shows, making huge visual demonstrations, bringing science, technology, engineering, and maths to life on stage. Or like all the fun me and the team have, making Let's Find Out, where myself, Amy, and Zoom travel around the world in our spaceship to Curiosity, learning all about the world around us, creating really fun and engaging demonstrations, as well as creating lots of other types of engineering projects like this one. Here, we had to create a vehicle to travel down this track, and we went for this type of uh, Noah's Ark type of structure and uh, this one didn't make it through a lot of prototyping and testing and that's not always great. We kind of just had to figure it out as we went and it looks pretty cool. Uh, room for two of every animal um, but it did not go <laughs> as planned at all. Uh, these things happen. It's all part of the process. Uh, don't, things don't work the first time as they're meant to be, but that's part of the fun process. Learning, seeing what worked, seeing what didn't. This clearly didn't. <laughs> but you're flexible and you go with it anyway. You go with the flow and you learn how to do better next time. Or this example where we did try to build a flying toilet. Yes, you heard me a flying toilet. Who says toilets can't fly? They can be very aerodynamic. And we worked together to build this to try and fly off Dunleary Pier and... Well, you'll have to wait for step number two to get the results of that. I think you know what's going to happen. But you can see that we always start with the goal or objective. And you can look at examples of engineering in the world around you to inspire you. You can do research online or in real life then brainstorm possible ideas or solutions. Listen to and work with your team on an agreed plan or a solution or design. Because the next step is going to be designing it, but one step at a time. So let's help kickstart your brainstorming process. So when I'm trying to stir up a storm, sometimes some activities can help inspire you, like thinking of examples of engineering all around you. Take a look around your class or the schoolyard or on the way home from school or anywhere you find yourself. Make a list of some examples of engineering you can see and discuss them together. This will show you that engineering is everywhere. It's in our homes, schools, phones, computers, roads, buildings, bridges, farms, sports, and in every type of job. You can also be inspired by the engineering all around you that you encounter while on your own adventures, like I do with this one. Right now, I'm on a ferry crossing the sea, and this whole ship is packed full of amazing engineering. First, look at the size of this thing. Who do think something so big could float? But engineers designed the shape of the hull so it can float, even though it weighs thousands of tons. And then you have the engines, giant power systems hidden below the deck that turn the fuel into the energy that drives huge propellers, pushing us smoothly through the waves. And it's not just floating and moving or the disco room downstairs for some grooving, engineering keeps us safe and comfortable too. From the stabilizers to stop us rocking too much, to the navigation systems that guide us through the busy seas. Even the ventilation, lights, Wi-Fi keeps everything working on board. This ferry is like a giant floating city and every single part of it has been carefully engineered. Because that's the amazing thing about engineering. It's around us, everywhere, all the time, even out here in the middle of the ocean. Now, engineering may help us all the time in lots of different ways, but it can't help with seasickness. So I am heading back down so I don't redecorate the deck. <laughs> You can even see how much engineering is a huge part of our fun times. 
engineering is even behind our fun times like this zip line, the biggest and longest zip line in the world here in Wales. These massive steel cables are engineered to hold the incredible weight and tension and the harness and pulley are carefully designed so you can clip in securely and guide down smoothly. And the towers are anchored are engineered to stay rock solid while people fly down at 100 miles an hour and the slope of the line calculated perfectly so you zoom fast but not too fast so you can't stop so the next time you're having fun remember engineering is part of the thrill now I gotta go test out this engineering masterpiece because I got the need for speed let's go okay this is me uh, about to go down the longest uh, zip line and the fastest zip line in the world right I'm not nervous I swear I'm not nervous I know all the engineering that's been done to make this super safe I swear that's why I have a big smile on my face that is not a nervous laughter I don't know what you're saying but I'm here all clipped in making sure that everything is gonna go right because there is so much engineering at play here but I trust the engineers that have tested this they've built many prototypes and I'm ready to go down and here I go check that out now I did try to record a script while going down this and I can tell you I did remember all of my lines I did I promise I swear I absolutely did but clearly if you're going a hundred miles an hour over a giant quarry lake the aerodynamics and the air resistance is going to be so loud that the microphone just picked up absolute babble I swear I'm not babbling because I was nervous are flying through the air at 100 miles per hour I was trying to tell you about all of the engineers going on while I was traveling over a hundred miles an hour I mean hundreds of meters off the ground over the quarry lake but it was super cool super fast and an amazing display of super engineering but <laughs> You don't always have to fly through the air at 100 miles per hour to get some new ideas. You can go for an engineering walk exploring your local school environment and you can do a lot of research online. Make sketches or rough drawings. I find this bit especially helpful to help visualize my ideas and show others so they can see it. We'll explore more of this in the next step where you'll be drawing your design and use your project book to write down some ideas and help develop them further. So you get your project book and you can choose your top three ideas. So you can write them down in your book and then answer the questions. Answering the questions will help you understand what you want to do and get your whole team on the same page. And it'll give you ideas of how you might want to design your project. It's a great way to discuss with your team and to focus your plans. And doing this bit well will help you later on when you get to the next steps and eventually start building it. And you won't figure everything out before you begin, but having a strong understanding of what you're doing at the start will help a lot. Okay, young engineers, you are all set over the you and your wonderful imaginations, your eager listening ears, your creativity and your teamwork. So have fun and enjoy the brainstorming process. And teachers, remember to take some pictures and videos for your own memories or to include in your final presentations or just to look back on in 40 years when you're president or whatever. And you can say, there I am with my friends building the indestructible toilet or whatever. Actually, don't build that. Or do. No, don't. Don't, don't. I shouldn't have said anything. The steps team will be judging the projects this year and just looking through like a lot of toilets this year and they, uh, they all look indestructible. Indestructible. And share them with us using the hashtags Steps Young Engineers Award and hashtag Steps Engineers Ireland. All right. Best of luck everyone, and I'll see you all in step number two.